Tanner Grant from Train by Tex. Today's video is going to be another video on how to use PicoScope. Today we're going to mainly focus on setting up PicoScope for beginners, how to use some of the automated functions that PicoScope has in it to help you get set up. And I'm also going to show you a little bit about organization and ways I have my stuff organized to make it easier to use PicoScope and use it without having to dig through drawers to get this stuff and so that it's not a hassle for you to pull out. Uh, I'm going to show you my top drawer here. This is how I have my stuff organized. It's easy to quick grab and go. Um, on the side of my box here I have all of my leads set up. I have them just wrapped up on the side of my box. That works for me. There's obviously other ways that we can do that. Um, but this makes it a nice easy grab and go. I'm going to get right into it now and I will show you about the setup for doing injector voltage first then we're going to do injector current and I'm going to show how to get hooked up. Right here on PicoScope software you can click on automotive. This section is all tests that PicoScope will set up for you without having to know the time bases and know the voltages it will set it up for you. Uh, for injectors we're going to go under actuators we're going to go over to injector petrol and for voltage we're going to click multi-point which is multi-port uh, voltage right here when you click on that it will bring you up to this screen and it will show you exactly how to set it up and tell you what you need to be hooked to for voltage you want to have your negative lead of your picoscope on the a somewhere battery negative or some earth ground uh, the other lead you want to have on the uh, earth side of the injector which is a switch side by the PCM we're going to use an alligator clip as well as a back pin I'm going to show you how to get figure out which wire is which as you can see on this diagram here this wire that they all have on in common is the voltage feed for all of the injectors we are not going to be on this wire for this test. We're going to be on this wire right here. On each one that's independent goes to the computer. That is your switched ground. Now we will get the scope hooked up. I'm going to show you how I hook up to it. Uh, we're going to use battery negative. Grab my light here. Get that camera over here. Take that right off. Bear with me guys. We're gonna go right into the back side of this wire right here. Gonna get a good feed on that. Make sure that you're in there good. Okay, go back to the screen. see picoscope screen right here we're all set you're going to hit play everything is already set up for you when you see that you have voltage on the screen we're right about oh we're at about 12.8 volts that's how you know that you are connected I'm going to start the truck up so you can see it on the screen and then we'll move on All right, that is injector voltage test. Now we're going to move on to the injector current test. Same deal, you're gonna go under actuators. You're going to go to injector petrol, multi-point, which again is multi-port. You're gonna click on current. That's going to bring up everything that you need there. As you can see, it shows you exactly what you need to know there. We're going to grab our low amp clamp. 
This gives you your settings. It says to connect the 60 amp current clamp to channel A of the Pico scope and select the 20 amp range. You're gonna do that. Now hook into channel A of the scope. We're gonna zero this uh, amp clamp. We're gonna go back to the Pico scope software. It is there. As you can see in this, it tells you you want to be around the supply wire. So now we will be using the voltage supply, which is the one that they're all tied together to in this truck. All right, bring that right over here. Inside the current clamp, there is an arrow. I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see it. That arrow is to tell you which direction it goes. It has to point in the direction of current flow. Current going into the injector, think of water going down through your pipes. The water that or the water that would be coming into your pipes is going out of your faucet, just like current coming into the injector. The current is coming down and heading directly into the injector. So that arrow has to point that way. We're gonna clamp around that wire like so. Now we're gonna go ahead, come back to our screen. We'll hit play and I will fire the truck up so you guys can see. All right. That's how to get injector current and voltage. One thing to keep in mind when you are doing injector voltage some injectors are going to be over the uh, voltage allowance for your scope. Most scopes or the newest 4425 is 200 volt. Um, some of the older ones were only 100, so you will have to use an attenuator to bring that down. I will quick show you how to do that. Go to this one more time. I'm going to go over to injector again. We'll go to voltage. Wait on my computer for a minute. Okay, right here you click the A button, you pick your uh, probe right here. You're gonna go down through here. I have a 10 to one, depending on if you're using a 20 to one. It'll say right on the back of it. Mine says 10 to one. You're gonna click that attenuator for what you are using and it will automatically tell the scope that you have that on there and then it will help you so that you're not going over the voltage of your scope you want to be careful not to do that most injectors tend to be over a hundred um the one that pico shows is around 90 i know that this truck is somewhere around 120 volts so just keep that in mind when you are setting things up that if you have an older scope you will have to use an attenuator um that's all i've got for this one on voltage and current let us know if there's anything else that you'd like to know and we will gladly take a video on it. We are trying to help everybody learn together. Uh, so just you know, bear with us and keep following along and hopefully you enjoy our videos. Thanks, see you later.